Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to another Animal Artist Collective video. Since we had a 50-50 split in our last round's poll, we are switching over to the other theme, which is the order carnivora. Now, you might be familiar with the word carnivore, and that word on its own is just a descriptor of animals that eat other animals. And what we are looking at is a particular order or class of mammals that are described as the order of carnivora. If you want more information about the classifications of animals and all of that, you should head over to Denise's channel of In Liquid Color. She is the one that always has all the amazing animal facts as well as I'm sure a lot of the other artists this round will have even more information about this distinction, but I figured I would mention that because that was something that I had learned for the first time. Now on to the animal that I have chosen. If you haven't noticed yet, I have decided to paint a bear, and there are quite a few different types of bears, and specifically in North America, I was sort of in between the grizzly and black bear because the grizzly bear is actually the uh, official state animal of California where I am from and currently reside in. But I also was really intrigued by the black bear and I got really interested in looking at the differences of the two and decided to go with a black bear for this particular painting. Uh, just because they are a little smaller and slightly less aggressive as far as I am aware. And I wanted to do something with a color palette where the florals and the plants had most of the color and the bear itself was more of a muted neutral color. I did definitely go more, much more light gray than black since I don't particularly love having black in my pieces and I wanted to keep this light as well. But I did focus on and use references of black bears for this drawing and painting. In this video, I will be sharing some general symbolism of the bear and all of that, but first I wanted to share with you the personal symbolism that is put into this piece because there is a lot of it, specifically why I chose both this animal as well as all of the plant life that is included. And before we jump into the personal symbolism that I want to start with, I did want to mention that this original piece will be for sale. There is a link down below to the Etsy listing for this and half of the proceeds are going to be going to the World Wildlife Fund. They are one of my favorite animal charities to give to and so I wanted to continue that with this video and this artwork. So if you so choose to purchase this original, know that you are also helping to create a better and more positive change for the animals on our planet. So let's jump into some of this personal symbolism around this piece. As many of you know, my husband and I are pregnant with our first child. That has been a big reason that a lot of my time has been taken away from YouTube, unfortunately during this year, but we are actually due this month. <laughs> so this is actually going to be my last Animal Artist Collective piece and my last YouTube video of 2019. For the year, I'm gonna be skipping November and then hopefully things will be more settled for January to be able to come back and enjoy the group yet again. But that being said, I wanted to really have this video be the last before I take my maternity leave. And I wanted it to be a sort of dedication to our child that is almost here. So you might not be surprised that I have always been drawn to some sort of animal symbolism and animals that I and others have been drawn to in their lives and what meaning that might hold for them. And for my pregnancy, the very beginning, I felt very a very, very strong pull toward hedgehogs, and I kept drawing them and thought, oh, maybe this is a symbol for this new child. And the more I looked into the symbolism, I realized that this might actually be a symbol more for me as 
I am starting to become a mother and it is a symbol of fertility and things like that. And so about halfway through the pregnancy, I started to have a very, very strong affinity for bears. <laughs> So teddy bears and I mean just any kind of bear and started to realize okay maybe this is actually in connection to our new baby and the more I thought about it the more it just feels like it fits perfectly and so when we were talking about doing the order carnivora for this round and I realized bears were definitely in that group, I knew that I had to do a painting dedicated to our new child that we are expecting in just a few weeks. I ended up picking a black bear just because I do believe that they are smaller, more gentle, and can be a little cuter sometimes depending on the reference you look at. And I wanted something that felt very cute, less scary, and more innocent. And that is why I went with this and this particular composition. And then as far as all of the florals go, aside from the succulents, which I obviously like to add to things, I wanted to add very symbolic flowers to this piece as well. So we have the orange poppies, which are from California specifically, that is our state flower. And that is where I have grown up and still currently live, like I mentioned. And my husband is actually from Colorado and the state flower there is the Columbine. And so I, I have added those in as well. And then the third flower is the violet, which is the symbolic flower of February, the month, which both my husband and I share as our birthday months. And so I thought those flowers were very appropriate to include in this piece. And I really like how they turned out and added really interesting details uh, and different shapes to this piece. I feel like it was a little bit of a challenge with the colors since I don't often use orange because it's not my favorite and a few different purples and I struggled with the colors just a little bit but I think ultimately they work really well together and have a little bit of a different feel than some of my other paintings. And of course, the symbolism of these actual flowers and using the correct colors ended up being the most meaningful thing in this piece. And so I am excited that I ended up pushing through and really enjoy how this finished piece looks. Before we get into more symbolism, let's talk about a few fun facts about bears. There are eight species of different kinds of bears in the world. That is the American black bear, which is what I am depicting here, the Asianic black bear, the brown bear, which a grizzly would fall under, giant panda bear, polar bear, speckled bear, sloth bear, and sun bear. The American black bear is actually the most common of the bear species in the world. While the polar bear is the most carnivorous of the bear family, most bears are actually omnivores, and a group of bears is called a sloth or a sleuth. Since brown and black bears in the Americas are actually quite a common animal, it's no surprise that Native American tribes have a lot of meaning and symbolism around the bear. There is actually a very strong association with bears and humans because they have the ability to walk on just their hind legs if they need to. While we might associate a bear to something that is ferocious and scary, there's actually a lot of symbolism around the bear and wisdom and confidence and introspection. Just think about how bears are known for going into their caves to hibernate for the winter. This is very symbolic of their sort of inner wisdom or searching inward and taking respite to find the truth in life. There is definitely also that association with strength and specifically standing up against adversity. 
It was really interesting looking up these facts and symbolism, and I am really curious to find out if our child will have any of these kinds of traits and be similar to the bear. On that note, I would love to hear in the comments if any of you have a very strong association with bears or if that is a favorite animal of yours. Let me know down below why you think that you identify with the bear so much. So that is gonna be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed hearing about the process of this painting. And again, it is available for sale on my Etsy shop. I do have a link down below. Half of the proceeds will go to the World Wildlife Fund. Make sure to check out all of the other participating artists in this round. And I will see you guys with another video, hopefully sometime in January when I am done with my maternity leave and will be more settled in my role as a new parent. I hope you have a creatively fulfilled day and I will see you next time. Bye!